we've created our drawing. Now we're going to do a few changes to it and actually add a piece of information. So the first thing I'm going to do is to just zoom in on this. If I press down shift, if you remember, hold down the mouse button, I can move that to where I want on the screen. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to select a dimension. Once I've got that, you notice there grab handles here. I can get hold of that. It's the standard Windows sort of move icon for the cursor. Click this one, just, just moving them in so, so it just looks a little bit nicer. Uh, this one up here. That again, you may find that would have come in a different place. That could be moved to wherever you want. I've moved it earlier actually so that it was off the drawing. Um, I do prefer that off the drawing if I can. This this option here, um, I wanted that to be this way. It's getting a little bit messy. I suppose it might just work if I put it there. What I might need to do is move that down, or perhaps I might have been better putting this dimension on another view, which I could I could delete it and move it to another view if I want to. Right, so I've just tidied up my dimensions a little bit. There's an automatic option which will be shown later. Um, to, to tie it up when you've got lots of dimensions. This obviously we're keeping it very simple. What I'm now going to do, this, uh, I'm going to just press down the centre mouse wheel, I'm going to move this so I'm viewing the, the title block there, I'm going to zoom in on it slightly. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do um, a note. I've got annotation, uh, ribbon showing, click on note. What sort of note do I want to do? now? A note with a leader is, as we would call it, a label. You know, so you've got a, a line going from a part of your drawing to the text. So you're identifying what you're talking about. I'm just going to put something in this blank space, in this sort of title block here. So I don't need a leader. So I turn the leader off that simply. I'm going to enter the text. It's going to be horizontal. Um, the leader I'm not doing, so we don't really have to worry about that part. And I'm going to Center justify my text. So the middle of the text will be in line vertically. Next thing I need to do is to make a note. Now I need to select where I'm going to put that. Now I'm going to center it. So I put it in the middle on the sort of center line of that box. I enter my note. I'm just going to put more. Just press enter. CAD cam. And I could either press enter or the green tick. Do that once, you notice it's still asking me to enter. Well, you think, well, hang on, let's so enter something else. You'll keep going forever. When you've got an empty input uh, box here, if you just click the green tick or press enter, that will enter the text. And now we've, we've out pops again our, our menu manager, our options box. We don't need to do anymore, so we just click done return and it goes away. Now, if we just clicking outside, so deselect, if I select that text, and a nice slow right click, sort of click, that sort of thing, rather than clicking. I click on properties with the left button. What I, all I want to do, I could change the text should I want to, but I just want to change the text style, is set here the height to make it taller, um, and just double click in the box. I'm going to make that four. Don't need to press delete or anything. When it's highlighted, whatever you enter will replace it. So four, press enter, and then click. OK, or if I want to, I could do preview. Very happy with that. Click OK. So it gives you the option to change things. And once again, I can still move that about with an arrow. So there are lots of things you can do. I mean, something I would think about doing is probably changing this title here. Obviously, that's the model name, which is fair enough. It's in a box. The box just simply isn't big enough. It needs to be either. Well, that's the title, so I can't really change it. So I, I would need to make that much smaller text and perhaps put it on two lines but it would be quite small in, in the title block. That really, if we go back to the full view, that is just a very brief look at ways to tidy up and add information to our drawings.